In this video, I'm going to show you what I think is the best development environment for web development. So uh, if, for those of you who don't know what a development environment is, which I'm sure most of you do, it's just like Android Studio with uh, app development. Android Studio is a development environment. Sublime Text is also a development environment. And there's tons out there for web development. You know, different people are going to tell you what the best one is that they think. I just personally think that Sublime Text is the best that I've seen so far. Just because it's so lightweight, it's so fast, and I love the way that it highlights uh, text so it's gonna it looks kind of like this it's I highly highly recommend it I used to use other ones I used pie charm for a bit so if you go to pie charm uh, I use this one for a bit and uh, it's just it's not even close I don't think to there's just so many little conveniences uh, to use this one and I don't think pie charm is free at least the good one the good one's not free technically sublime text also isn't free but I was talking to my brother yesterday and he just kind of started doing Python development and he said he he downloaded it and all they do is they ask you to buy the paid version every once in a while but if you just don't buy it then you can still use it so yeah this apparently is free you know I I, I paid for mine I bought mine but um I mean, even if you wanted to buy it, I think it's worth it. Like going, I think it's like 80 bucks US, but it's, in my opinion, highly, highly worth it. So all you got to do is download it for whatever your environment is and install it and uh, you'll be good to go. It's very, very simple. Once you have it installed, it will look something like this. It's going to look very plain. You're going to be confused. There's like, you know, there's nothing. It's nothing like Android Studio where it automatically kind of opens a project and does things for you. But if you see something like this, you I just know that you've, you've done it right. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to open folder once you have it installed and let's find our projects. For me, my Django projects are in uh, drive D in Django projects. There's my coding with Mitch blog course. And you wanna select the folder that you want sublime text to look into. In our case, that's gonna be the SRC folder, which is where the project files are. So I just click select folder. And now over here, I have all of the files for the project. There's not many right now, but uh, every, if, you see, if you see the same thing that I'm seeing here, you know that everything is working correctly. And just to test it, you could double click and open these files. Don't change anything in them, by the way. These are, these are very important files. We're, we're gonna start uh, changing stuff and creating views in the next video.